Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, and today we're going to be talking about IPL, or intense pulse light treatments, uh, specifically for the face and broken capillaries. So I had a treatment done on my face about uh, almost a month ago now, and I'm going to talk about my experience and share some research articles with you, as well as the cost of the treatments. All right, so. Two weeks before um, my appointment, I made sure that I stayed out of the sun before getting this treatment. Uh, if you have a darker skin tone or a tan, you want to be careful because IPL can um, mess with the color in your skin and it can make your skin lighter and make it blotchy if you do have a lot of melanin in your skin. So this type of procedure is ideal for people with very fair skin with visible capillaries um, and that's going to be um, for the best outcome. Okay. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't have a tan when you get go in. For me, that wasn't really an issue. Just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I had the best um, outcome afterwards. So stayed out of the sun. And when I got to the appointment, um, I, I came with an umbrella to make sure that I was going to be safe from the sun to and from the appointment. Um, and sunscreen is definitely going to be your best friend uh, after you get this done. So. I bought a basic skincare regimen um, going into this. I bought a CeraVe cleanser and uh, the basic moisturizer. So I washed my face with that, put some moisturizer on, and then you know went to the appointment. The reason is because you don't wanna have any strong chemicals or essential oils or anything on your skin before you get this done because it can affect the treatment process, okay? Uh, so I had that, I got there. When uh, I got into the office, they wiped off you know, any moisturize I had on with an alcohol wipe um, and made sure that uh, my skin was clean. Then they put on an ultrasound gel all over my face, which was quite cooling and refreshing. Uh, then I laid back um, in the chair and they put these goggles, special goggles on my eyes. And um, then they, you know, started to use the device. So he started at my chin to make sure I wasn't sensitive um, to how it felt um, and you know he went and moved all around my face so um, this kind of felt like a jolt -ing sensation um, and really it wasn't painful at all it was like warm every time he would move the the machine um, but the light was very bright so he had asked me to keep my eyes closed throughout the treatment which I did um, but you could still see kind of like the light flashing every time um, they would change spots or, 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 you know, turn the machine on and that was crazy. It was just really, really intense. Maybe that's why they call it intense pulse light. Um, but once I got used to that, it, it was okay. Um, uh, the most sensitive area for me was around my nose. I, I noticed that I flinched a little bit, um, like with my legs, I didn't move my face at all, but I flinched a little bit, um, when he was going around my nose there. But other than that, the pain was very minimal. Uh, again, it was just that light that was pretty shocking, okay? So afterwards, I went to the bathroom and I washed the rest of the gel that they, um, you know, they wipe it off your face, but I wanted to make sure I got it all off. And then they gave me a little tube of sunscreen to put on um, and I put that on uh, before I left. So uh, the cost of the treatment was $300 per site. So I had just gotten my face done. It was $300. If you buy a package, it's a little bit less. So with a package of three, it's $810. So it's somewhere around, what is that, $275 uh, per uh, session. So he did recommend that I come in again um, just to make sure that I got everything taken care of that I that I wanted to address because he did use a lighter um, light on me because I am so fair. I didn't buy the package because I wasn't sure how my skin was going to react, um, but I may consider that uh, the next time I go or, or in the future. So um, after the treatment, I used my umbrella, I went home, um, and then I had the day off so I was able to rest and I didn't, he told me not to exercise for the rest of the day um, and, and so I just rested. Uh, I didn't um, exercise or put makeup on for about four days after the treatment. Uh, this is just what I found online um, with the current research of the, you know, the best outcomes for the treatment. So for four days and then after the fourth day, I use some light concealer um, and I um, obviously use sunscreen and then I did a very light workout. I didn't do anything super, super intense just to make sure the capillaries were able to disintegrate and be eliminated by my body. 
all right? Um, so the success that I have found personally, I, you know, the day of my face was a little bit red, a little bit swollen, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. And then the next couple of days after, you know, my face really didn't look any different. Um, the capillaries maybe were a little bit darker and then I had a little bit of scabbing like underneath um, my eyes where I had some like, um, I guess freckles or, or sunspots, like little tiny um, um, blotches of color, which didn't really bother me, but there was kind of like scabbing there. So what happens is everything kind of like is drawn out of your skin from sun damage and, and the capillaries and then you know it dissolves the capillaries actually get absorbed by your body and dissolve but um, everything else just comes to the surface so i did experience that um and then about a week after uh some of the capillaries um maybe just one of them seemed a little bit darker and i was like concerned about it and wondering why it was darker but then like two two and a half weeks after everything started to kind of smooth out and my face looks so much better I'm only able to, you know, I only have to really wear a little bit of concealer and, you know, I can't really see the capillaries that much at all. So I'm very happy about that. Um, they still are like remnants of them. They're very, very faint now. So I'm going to do that second treatment and hopefully that just takes care of it. Um, and then I'll just go from there. Okay. So this is an awesome uh, option for people that want to um, brighten their complexion and get rid of minimal sun damage um, without really anything invasive, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the research. All right, so IPL was invented, well, it was approved by the FDA in uh, 1995 um, for the broken capillaries, uh, actually only on the lower extremities. Um, it wasn't until a little bit later we started using it for the face and uh, they found out that it was great for other things like you know, increasing collagen production and also getting rid of unwanted hair on the face or the body. Okay, so um, remember it's not a laser, it is light therapy. Um, so what it does, so IPL raises the blood vessel temperature and it raises it high enough to cause coagulation, leading to the destruction and replacement by fibrous granulation tissue. So um, everybody's different, so it may take some people a shorter time or a longer time. Some people I read, um, the capillaries go away right away after the treatment and that didn't happen to me. It took about a week to a week and a half. Um, so just, um, you know, uh, be easy with yourself on that. So as I mentioned, different wavelengths um, target different things. Uh, so the elimination of the capillaries, the hair and all that we talked about. Uh, one more thing, replace a lost dermal volume. And then we talked about the collagen production. So. These are all great things and definitely things that I um, experienced post-treatment. All right, and I'll link that study. Another uh, study more specific uh, in 2005, I know these are older studies, but I think they're still relevant because this these machines have actually gotten better over time. So this is based on you know, the beginnings of this type of treatment. All right, so in 2005, uh, 60 rosacea patent patients were treated for broken capillaries. They were um, treated with IPL um, and they did four treatments um, per site um, on the body. So after three years, they found there was a 77.8 success rate um, in the treatment. So people didn't have reoccurrence of the capillaries and they found that only four of the 508 facial sites treated um, had recurrence of uh, the capillaries. So that's a pretty good statistic uh, and proves that it can be very really effective long term. Okay, so I'll link that one as well. Um, we talked a little bit about what to do after the treatment. Make sure you wait at least four days, at least that's what I did. You want to avoid putting any type of intense ingredients on your face like Retin-A or vitamin C, just very, very basic. Um, they say for about a week or so and then you can go back to your regular uh, routine and then give it some time. All right, so my overall thoughts. Um, I definitely think it was worth it. Um, it took me a little while to see the results, but I definitely think that my skin looks cleaner and brighter. The pain was minimal. Again, that light was just the most shocking thing. Um, the cost, 
was minimal. I mean, you know, we spend so much on things um, every single week um, that aren't as um, beneficial to, you know, our self-esteem and to just our overall look. Um, so $300 per site, and then you can get a deal if you buy a package, okay? So I am gonna go back for that next treatment. I'll follow up with you guys about that and let you know how it goes. Um, so uh, that's about it for that. Okay, if you have any questions about IPL, uh, please let me know. Um, I did so much research before doing this just because I was you know, a little nervous and didn't know what to expect. And um, so if you have any questions about it, please reach out to me and I'll try to get you the best information possible on the topic. Thanks so much for being here and for watching my channel in general. Um, if you want to, please press like and share this video with your friends and family, um, that, the people that may benefit from this information. You can also donate. I have links down below where you can donate to my channel. All this information is free and I'm happy to do it, but I'm always grateful when you donate um, and share that way, okay? All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome rest of your week. Bye.